guys, welcome back to The Bench. We are thrilled to be bringing you the very first episode of The Bench at Canton Road Jewelry's Welding Academy. So today we'll be discussing the different kinds of weld joints that you might encounter while working on jewelry. So the four welds that get us through the vast majority of our jobs are the butt weld, the edge weld, the lap weld, and the plug weld. Let's hop over to the laser, see what those look like. Sizing a ring is a perfect example of a butt weld. During a ring sizing, the new faces of the ring shank are filed flat so that they'll sit flush against one another. Then, they're pressed together flat side to flat side, thusly. Once they're in place, the laser can go to work. Pay close attention to the gaps you see here between the faces. Watch how they disappear during the welding process. To simplify the finishing process, we generally set the beam width somewhere around 1.2 millimeters and increase the laser's power setting just a hair, then go back over the weld joint to help smooth things out. That's a good looking butt weld. Closing the bail for a necklace or charm is a great example of an edge weld. This is a very common style of bail. Depending on the piece that it's going to be added to, we personally find it easier to use an edge weld to close the bail first before adding it to its intended charm. Once the bail has been adjusted so that the ends meet, it's a simple matter of applying just a bit of pressure. The laser does the rest. Once it's done its thing, the bale is quite permanently closed. Again, for the sake of easier work, we'll increase the beam width and make another smoothing pass over the joint. I think it's safe to say, those edges are fully welded. By far, the most reliable type of weld we've found for any high stress area is the plug weld. If you watched the video where I made John a new set of cufflinks, you'll be familiar with this type of weld. We begin by creating a hole that is the same internal dimensions as the external dimensions of the piece to be joined. After inserting the piece, we'll hit it with the laser a few times to cause the end to ball up. This will give us the requisite fill material to avoid gaps or porosity, while also ensuring that the joined piece does not slip out of place while we're working on it. Once it's tacked into place, increase the laser's power just a bit to assist with the weld penetration. Finally, increase the beam width and smooth everything out. Done right, this is an incredibly strong weld joint. Our last example is a lap weld. While not technically 100% accurate, this is the most closely matching weld type to the method we use to add metal or material to a piece. This is one of, if not the most common operations we perform on the laser or the Orion. You can see the low-lying flat spot that needs a bit of extra material added to it here. We'll use this gold sheet as donor material. Lap joints are easy enough. Simply line the edge of the sheet up where you need it to be and fire the laser. Try to aim such that the laser's beam is splitting the difference between the ring and the sheet. If you find that your sheet is pulling back into itself rather than adhering to the ring, simply increase the power of each laser strike. Imperfect as it looks, this will give us enough material to properly shape this ring again. And that concludes class for today. 
So those are the four main types of joints that we use. Now granted, every situation is kind of a unique thing depending on what you run into when you get into it. For the most part, a sizing is gonna be a butt joint. Uh, putting a post on an earring, for instance, is going to be a plug joint if you can manage it. But every now and again, you run into a unique situation, so you need to be flexible. Uh, look out for the next video in this series. If you've got anything that you'd like to know more about, please let us know down in the comments. We always hope you'll hit that like button and you should definitely hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when we post the next video in this series or when we post any more of our amazing projects. And until the next time that we see you guys, it is always a pleasure having you here with us at the bench.